So you want the exclusive on how to make a YouTube intro. Well, keep watching. I got you. If you're new here and want to get actionable strategies like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. You want to start with a brand new keynote presentation. Go ahead and select wide, white, delete both of the text boxes and enter the text that you would like displayed for this intro. For me, it's my Instagram handle and YouTube username. So go ahead and highlight the text you just typed out and then go over to the font list. You want to look for a font that is wide and bold. The more space that your font selection takes up, the more of the background photo will show through those letters. So now that you've gotten your font, and I selected impact for maximum impact, <laughs> um, go ahead and select that lime green color, but then go to the color wheel and drag it up to become just a little bit darker lime green still super bright lime green then go ahead to the background and hit that white and the color wheel will come up again go ahead and change it to black Now just double check your placement and make sure that your lettering is centered in the middle of your slide. Now's the fun part. Go to animate at the top right corner and a drop down list of animations will appear. Go ahead and play with them like you see me doing here. There are three types of effects that you can use. There are build ins actions and build out this is the fun part you guys like this is where your creativity comes through so don't be afraid to take your time and play around with this In true form, I did the middle action before I added a build in, so I'm going back to add a build in now. And that's my build in, that's my action. So now I'm gonna click on build out and I'm going to add one. I love crumble, so that's the one I'm selecting. And now I have a build in action and build out. Now I'm just dragging them close together so that they are completed as one action. Hit play at the top to see your full animation play. Success. Now hit file, export, movie, and change the resolution to 1080p. So now save your file under a name you can actually remember like a responsible adult and save it to your desktop to make it easier. So head on over to iMovie, create a new movie, and then import that media that we just made in Keynote. It should be on your desktop. 
So what you see here is just a photo that I dragged into the timeline. And then you wanna drag the overlay down and attach it to the photo. You'll notice that there is black space on either side of the overlay and you do want to just trim off the excess inside that drop down select green blue screen and you'll see your photo appear through the lettering I didn't like the way my photo appeared so I just went into import media and selected a new photo that I felt might show up better through the lettering same process drag the overlay down chop off the edges hit green blue screen and we're good look at this masterpiece you made can you believe you did this in seven minutes you're a designing pro so really quickly we're back in keynote I just wanted to change the background of my slide from black to this really pretty magenta color so same process export name it something responsible that you can look for easily import it into iMovie wham bam thank you ma'am literally i'm not even going to walk you through this again if you have any doubts rewind that's the beauty of youtube you do not need to hear me talking the entire time you are a seasoned professional honey you got it 